Hi guys, I've got a request from a Mustafa Javed to make a car with a shoebox. To be honest, I don't find any difference between a shoebox and any other sort of box, or for that matter, a plastic container. They're all the same basic shape. You've just got to find some way of putting an axle on it and some wheels and attaching a rubber band. Well, what I'm going to do here, I've got some barbecue skewers, I've got a hole punch, I've got some rubber bands, and I've got some CDs that I've already made into wheels by hot gluing plastic bottle caps in the middle. If you have a look at my video description, I'll put a link into a video where I just make the wheels on their own. So that will save me a bit of time not doing it now. So we've got four wheels and the shoebox. We need to make some holes in the shoebox. need them to be just in a little bit. It would be a good idea if you measure it so you get them all in the same place. Then the car might go straight. So I'll use a ruler. Measuring in an inch. And then this hole punch can only go down a certain distance anyway. Looks like we can go about quarter of an inch up from that white line. If we measure could push these holes through with something sharp. The main point is they have to be a nice loose fit for your barbecue skewer. If it's tight, then there'll be too much friction. We could also do with a hole to attach the rubber band. The holes in my bottle tops are a good tight fit on there, so they'll grip when the rubber band is turning. They're a very tight fit.
need a little bit of a gap in fact if you want to you could put some paper washers in there or card washers to help reduce the friction some rubber bands I'll just do a few that should be enough Just wrap it round the back wheel so that it wraps over itself. And that's it. Job done. We'll give it a test run through my kitchen. Well that worked didn't that? That was about 8 or 9 metres. Quick summary, what have we got? We've got a rubber band powered shoebox. Small shoebox, that's my grandson's shoes came in that. Four CDs, eight plastic bottle tops, two barbecue skewers, a few rubber bands, job done. I've also got a request from JBoss2001 Gaming to make a radio controlled shoebox car. Well now that I've found a shoebox I might consider it, although to be honest I don't really understand why we want a shoebox that's radio controlled. I've made lots of other uh, projects that are basically a box with wheels on that are radio controlled. I don't understand. What's the significance of the shoebox? Maybe somebody can tell me.